Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your monthly read. Um, and this will be for the sign of Libra. So Libra, just remember the readings are only general. I'm going to use the after tarot for your reading and I will pull you a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden, Hidden Realms Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. Oh, someone's got conflict around them at the moment. Maybe you've got to walk away from something because it's not serving you anymore. It's time to give up. Okay, I know why. Okay, so the world card's coming out for you first. So Libra, the world card comes when you're closing out a cycle. Um, you may have had patterns in your life, you know, whether they are in regards to money, life in general, romance, whatever they are here. You've been going around in some sort of circle here, not really achieving anything, but always thinking that when you look back or retrospectively, you're looking at things going, I've done that again. That is the same as I've done it before. Um, it's that whole thing of trying to do the same thing and trying to get a, a different result. And I feel like you're doing something here in cycling. And the universe is coming in now to say, that's enough now. You need to understand you can't keep doing this to yourself. You have to learn this lesson. Okay, so it could be that you've had your heart broken again. It certainly says to me in this card here that you perhaps don't stick up for yourself. You don't speak up for yourself. Perhaps sometimes you put yourself behind other people. Um, you could put, place other people above yourself here. Um, but there's definitely this pain here that you need to heal from again. Okay, so this is a lesson around give and take. Now, the thing is with Libras, I mean, as if it was only Libra in your sign, the Libra often represents someone because it's represented by the scales, someone that knows, that can see the good in everything. They balance things out so they always see the good. The thing is, at the end of the day, the good is about receiving back too. You can't keep investing in something that's not giving you back. Um, whether this is love, whether this is money, whether it's some other situation, you cannot keep giving to things. They become toxic if you're not getting a balanced deal. Okay, and you're going into some sort of transformation now. That makes a whole lot of sense, yet we're talking codependency here. Okay, so what what when I see the card, and I think codependency is such a broad subject, and I don't want to get into it too much, and always simplify it by saying... When you're in this con this energy of codependency, you put other people's needs above yourself. You're self-sacrificing. You're in a victim mentality. So that's just loosely. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't mean that you are bad. It means none of those things. It just means that you've learned a way of doing things that is not serving you. It's coming. It hurts. Now, that doesn't mean you're, you know, you're a good person and the other person's a bad person. But if you keep giving to someone who's not giving back to you, they expect more, you give more, and it, eventually it becomes a, 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 a game of who can resent each other the most. So this is about this now needing some sort of transformation. You need to get yourself into this idea and learning through closing out this cycle that what you put into something, it is not wrong to expect something back for it. Otherwise, it just it ends up being very messy. Um, and we've all learned our lessons around that. I'm, no, I'm not preaching to you something I haven't experienced. So we have Capricorn Taurus Virgo coming out here. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a person. Look at her. She's trying to work out this lesson here in this cycle. See her looking at this thing? She's trying to work out here where she always goes wrong. And she's staring at this thing thinking, I keep going round and round and round. I want to get off the roundabout now and work out how to change this energy. The Queen of Pentacles is a person who's very practical, very down to earth and very um, likes her earthly pleasures. So she may be doing what she thinks she's doing because she loves people. 
And sometimes we do that. We think we love someone so much we want to adorn them with everything. But actually, that's not healthy. Even with your children, you can't give your children a lot and not expect them to learn how to be grateful. And that is our role as a parent. Doesn't mean you can't give your children things, but you have to expect that they respect what you're doing, yet that's what you have to teach them. It's the same in a relationship. I mean, you can't go and put in everything into a relationship if the person you're doing it for doesn't appreciate um, what you're doing, doesn't love you back, doesn't sometimes want to do nice things for you too. Um, and that's where it becomes toxic because one day you wake up and you think, I've invested so much in this relationship, I'm drained, I'm tired, I'm unhappy, and there's no future here. And that's when it hits you, you've done it again. Okay, so this is about living in an illusion. Um, you could be dealing with a snake, but you're living in an illusion. And what that means is you've been taught to do something a certain way, or you've learned to do something a certain way, which is not serving you. Um, and you need to drop this veil now. You need to be able to see through this now. This is dreams. So it could be you've put a lot of energy into something because you dreamed of a specific outcome. Maybe you thought by doing all of this, a person would love you more. Maybe you thought that you would be more accepted if you were kinder, nicer, sweeter. So what you've done is you've just kept investing in something that's not giving back here. All right, I like this a lot. So the High Priestess here talks of your intuition. It talks about not always knowing. And I think that perhaps you haven't really known up until this point what you were doing, but I feel that you've had some sort of inkling now. You've had some sort of spiritual awakening here, something that's finally clicked within you and you've gone, now I see what I'm doing. Now I see what I'm doing. And I feel like you're starting to listen to yourself. Yeah, because you're going inside here with this hermit. The hermit wants to shed light on what's going on. So there's sort of this feeling, and he's got a snake in his hand again. You could have been dealing with somebody very snaky here. But I also think that this is about personal transformation. So I really think that you're going inside now to really understand this way of, this pattern, this way of doing things that you've always done. Okay. Oh, very, very nice. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo, but the Sun card says to me that you've got a lot of happiness on the other side of this and there is a leap of faith coming in for you. So this could be past energy too. You could have already been through this. The Knight here is drinking from his own cup and that's what I love in this deck because it's saying to me that you've learned some lesson here and I feel that you're finally closing out this cycle. Um, I feel that you're moving forward now into a brand new sort of life where you're understanding or you have some understanding. It's almost like you want to try out what you've learned here to see if it works or not. Because you're learning to love yourself and ultimately this is what it's all about. It's about being able to drop the idea of things how you've been taught, drop your core beliefs, drop these energies that have stopped you receiving the love that you truly deserve so there's a transformation here and you're starting to understand your personal journey beautiful see you're dropping letting go letting go of all those coins you no need, need to have these beliefs anymore that are holding you back you've had some sort of enlightenment here you've had some sort of awakening there are quite a few major arcanas here so we do have the one two three Four, five major arcanas here and a 10 card spread. Um, and there's only nine on the table at this time. There is this very, very strong feeling here that you have really seen through this now. Something has been done. Something's been said. You've had, you, you may have looked into this before. You may have even read things on it before, but you didn't truly understand it at the core. And now you're shedding you're shedding or you're looking beyond the veil. You're opening your eyes up now. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we have abundance. So whatever you're doing here, you're finally seeing the other side of this Seven of Cups energy. Oh, I just saw that poke out there. The lover's card. I think true love's coming your way now. You've understood this journey. 
Okay, so we have the world card. We have you resting after finish or closing out a cycle, understanding this give and take thing that everybody keeps talking about, having some sort of transformation and allowing this energy to go. Um, it's really interesting that you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil energy here. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, um, Taurus, Libra, Leo, <laughs> Pisces, there's pretty much every sign on the table here. Um, I really think that you are starting to understand now how to receive your abundance, how to have what you want, how to shape your life now going forward. Beautiful, beautiful reading, but a lot of tough energy here. And I feel like you're coming out of the other side of it now. Something's brought something to realisation. Oh, I love this. You have Gaia's garden here. So let me just find the card for you. It's the card 18, which of course is card, is number nine. Okay, let me read this one. Now the, the main themes of this card are fruition, abundance and reaping what you sow. In Gaia's garden, you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. There is no shortage of anything and you're constantly reminded of the law of supply. Gaia is the infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things. She represents the abundance of nature. When she comes to you as your ally, she invites you to partake of all the blessings of life. There will be always be enough for everyone. Success comes to you from the fruits of your intention and all is well with the world as a result. This is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests for you. Gaia's gifts are sweeter when you share them with others. When you share them with others. Not when you give them all to others, when you share them. <laughs> Have a wonderful May. Thanks.